Hey Gamers, Maniac here with GameAccess.net with my tripod for the first time ever, my brand new tripod. We are going to be unboxing Days Gone Collector's Edition for the PS4. Now this game has been out for a while now and I actually picked up the Collector's Edition about a day or two after the game came out, not too long after the game came out. But um, the problem was is that I just hadn't had the time to do the unboxing. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I got it on camera and I was working on some new uh, editing pictures, you know, editing stuff and things like that. And then I got the tripod, so I was like, okay, let's check this out. Now, Days Gone has been out for about a month now. It's, uh, it's a PS4 exclusive. And that is not coming off. It's a PS4 exclusive game, which is not the end of the world. It's not, it's not the, it's, it, it's, it hasn't gotten the highest reviews of any PS4 game that I've seen. It certainly hasn't gotten reviews like Spider-Man or God of War. Um, actually, I haven't even played God of War all the way through yet. But um, let's, uh, let's cut these. I'll pull those off later. So it hasn't exactly been considered to be, you know, in comparison to those games, one of the greatest games ever made. But that having been said, it is still supposedly a pretty good game. And um, I've heard that they just had some minor glitches that have probably been fixed with patches by now. Now, the collector's edition comes with um, a custom steelbook, a statue, um, uh, original music, collector's pins, art book, a patch, decals, and some DLC content. Now, I didn't pick this up on pre-order, so I'm not going to get any pre-order content with it, unfortunately. All right, let's... Yeah, I knew I was going to need a tripod for this, so there we go. Actually kind of cool on the inside. I mean, this was made by Ben Studios. I actually like Ben Studios. They've made some great PSP games in the past. Okay. That's cool. Does it open like this? Okay, it does. Okay, it says the mini art book includes some stuff that should not be seen until you play the game. The PS4 Collector's Edition for Spider-Man said the same thing. Let's take a look at what's inside. We've got this uh, steel book. Cool logo. Pretty cool. I will not open that up. It is set up very similar to the, um, you want to take a look at the top here. It's got a copy of the game, copy of the art book. I'm trying to see if I can pull the game out, but it doesn't want to get it. Boy, am I glad I got my extra hand here from the tripod. Let's see. All right, so I get a copy of the game. I'm sure the DLC codes are in here. That's why I'm not going to be opening this. The last time I tried doing this, I'm always worried the DLC codes are going to show up, so... We're not gonna we're not gonna open these. Well, for lack of spoilers, here's the art book. Now I don't know if there's a full size art book that's gonna be included with it. It has happened in the past. Okay. Okay. It's like there's something tying this down. Oh, okay. I guess I want you to pull this whole thing out. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We got something. Everything seems to be kind of attached. Just slide it. I guess this slides out like this. Okay. And then there's your statue. It's a pretty big statue. Not the biggest statue I've ever seen. Let's see, can I get the? I really don't want to. Why won't this come out? Is it all stuck together or something? Oh, it's taped. Okay. It's taped together. And for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason this does not want to come out. Let's see. 
So that's the second half. There for right now. And it looks like this is all taped together. Let's look at that. There we go. Don't really want to crack this thing open too bad. But it looks pretty detailed. Yeah. So, yeah, without a doubt, this is probably the most frustrating because everything's been taped together, and there goes that. But it's okay. Uh, yeah, this is probably one of the most frustrating collector's boxes I've ever had to unbox because everything seems to be taped together. Let's see, is there anything in the steel book? Let's take a look at the inside of the steel book. Oh, that's cool. So the steel book doesn't include the game disc, it includes the soundtrack disc. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I wish uh, more collector editions came with physical discs. So this is published by Dark Horse. It's a miniature. That's pretty cool. This is a copy of the game. And of course, I still can't figure out how to get to the DLC under here. So I'm going to tape or something. But yeah, that's it. Um, 112 bucks, 115 bucks. No, you know, no pre-order DLC. I really look forward to playing this game from the X, you know, from, from taking a look at it in, during E3 2019. I'm sorry, from 2017. I have a soft spot in my heart for it. I really can't wait to play it. Until next time, guys, my name is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Take care over and out.